Good morning. Hey, Nick. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So um, I'm down at the hospital right now with my 14 year old. Um, so Eric, is Russ here? Nope. Okay. Hey, Russ, how's it going? Hey, doing well. Good. Hey, I'm going to let you run the show um, and then just turn the, uh, my video off. So I think we're going to get ready to rock and roll. You, uh, Eric, let everybody in, okay? Yep, we're ready to go. Go for it. Are we on? We're ready? I see like 40 people here, so that's fantastic. Yes? Yeah. Good. Uh, everything is okay, right, Tom? I hope. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. Everything's fine. I'll, I'll talk to you about it later. Thanks. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, you just freaked me out a little bit because, you know, I got a 14-year-old also. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Atomic Habits uh, Wednesday. Today, uh, we have a very special guest for you, somebody I've known for a long time that's very close to my heart. I consider him family. Um, we have accomplished many amazing things uh, at Fortune, I don't even, I think it's Fortune 50 company together where we uh, produce the top results in the country uh, he has then moved on to real estate, and uh, you will see the passion that this guy has about what he does. If you have any interest at all in improving your social media presence, uh, making your profile more sticky, uh, and just doing everything right uh, you know, in the social media world, and I always say don't be a secret agent, right? If you're a secret agent and no, no, not even your close friends, uh, know that you're an agent. Uh, that's that's not a good thing. And he will fix that for you today. Not only that, he's got more than 25 minutes worth of material. So I don't want to take up too much more time introducing him. His name is Nick Hurley. Uh, he's already been invited to do all kinds of presentations at all types of different uh, companies and, and uh, real estate places and MLSs. Uh, he is the authority on how to drive your social media presence. Um, but, but I'm going to let him kind of go into what he thinks is fantastic for you. He has templates to share. He is going to make you really good at this before the end of the call. I think it will help everybody. So with that, Nick, I will let you take over and I will shut up. All right. So it looks like I've got 24 minutes. Hey, Siri, set a timer for 24 minutes. All right. Let's hopefully I can fit minutes. all of this Starting in. Now. All right, let's go. So have you ever wanted to post the best looking posts with the best information, but not have to do all the work? Well, that's what I provide. Okay. I'm your best undiscovered secret weapon you'll find on social media right now. I'm basically like keeping current matters, but like more dynamic with more dynamic content with a revolutionary design, uh, design method that's all on your iPhone using free apps. You can do everything while laying in bed. So that's kind of like the introduction of me. Um, how I know Russ, we worked at Best Buy together. I was the number one sales manager in the company in 2012. Russ was the number one district manager. He was my district manager. Together, we crushed it together. We had like 11 out of the top 50 stores were in our 26 store group in Sacramento, Bay Area, all the way up to Redding, California, where I live. That's where I am right now. So um, moving on, not only that, my posts are going to help you and your team build A-plus clients. That's like my main goal is to create A plus clients and A plus realtors with every single post. Every single post matters. Um, A plus cl clients that get their financing first before we start a home search because it's been drilled into them. When anybody learns something, they have to be taught it three times. So if we have three touch points in our different posts and different methods and buyers consultations and everything together, um, we're going to send that message home that before they even get to us, um, they're going to know how to be A plus clients, right? So, um, and then building A plus realtors on our team that provide a five star experience um, to keep the engine going full steam. Integrating posts from buyers consultations and forms that send clients back with links back into your Instagram. The algorithm loves that. The number one thing you can do to uh, crush on crush the algorithm is to get 
people to stay on the app. It wants to see that you're doing that. Once it sees that you're doing that consistently over time, that's when it really starts to put you out in the explore channel and the suggested um, for others to be able, be able to pick you up as a follow and things like that. Um, also, my post will teach your clients how not to screw up the, their credit and blow up the deal. So there's other things knitted within there that, that really help um, make it so it's a five-star experience for the client as well, because they don't know. They don't know that if they buy a motorcycle like a week before escrow is over, that it could screw up their DTI and mess up the loan, right? So we have to teach them that. Like I said, three times you have to teach anybody anything without any backlash, right? It's our fault if we didn't teach them that stuff. And so my posts are going to help you do that. Let me show you how. So currently, if you look at my profile, I'm actually in the process of building it out better. I'm building it out so it's super sticky, icky, icky. And the way that I do that is everything that you click on gives you the ability to do the thing that you're clicking on right then. And nobody's done this perfectly on Instagram yet. And I'm getting there. And I've got the tools needed to make it happen. And you guys are going to love it. Like when you click on my five-star review, it's going to give you five-star animation templates that you can pop in your story with your information and music and lighting and everything. Or not lighting, but like progress bars and, and captions and all that stuff so that um, on your Instagram, you can have the same five-star review that looks just like mine, right? using the templates that I have. That's just an example. So be before I go into it, um, I want to tell you about my why. My why is um, juvenile hall kids. I was a mentor in juvenile hall for seven years and seven months. And um, the thing I learned really quick is that I could save and help the kids all I want. But as soon as they got out, they're same with that same five group of friends that's doing H and clear. Um, which is heroin and crystal meth. And I need to get them up out of that five group of friends into a different five group of friends because we all know the five we hang about, hang around are going to be who we're going to be like, right? So if I can pluck a kid out from where they're at and put them into a new spot, they can actually heal. That's you, how you heal a person is you get them in a good new environment where they're productive and everything like that. So everything that I'm doing is revolving around creating jobs for kids in juvenile hall that are fun, that are exciting, that can get them up out of everything that they're doing and uh, get them healed and get them to be productive members of society. So know that that's my why. That's why I'm doing all this. Um, and that's why um, you can feel confident in any of the donations that you end up giving me for my templates. And um, the minimum donations aren't expensive at all for anything that I offer, and they never will be. I always, I, be, I don't believe in pay to play. I want anyone anywhere, no matter if they have money or not, to be able to start at right at the, the beginning and do it just as well as somebody who's got $40 million coming into it. And I'm leveling the playing field for everyone across the planet right now with this re revolutionary design pattern that no one's seen. It's not on Pinterest. It's not on YouTube. The hashtag, the hashtag for Keynote iPhone is empty. It's only got posts from me in it. Nobody knows how to use this stuff yet. So you're at the cutting edge of something brand new that's really, really super cool and exciting. And I'm going to show you how here in the next however many minutes we have left. <clears throat> So first off, in the next week, I'm going to be launching my self, uh, it's an Instagram profile self audit PDF that's going to have links in it for when you click on the profile picture, it'll go to my templates, it'll go to my post that teaches you how to create a new profile picture and all the apps that I'm getting, getting ready to tell you about today. So anything that you hear today is going to be in that PDF that I'm going to launch as a free download next week as well as a template behind that that you can purchase for like a dollar minimum donation. And you could have this, you could change it to your branding and have it on your page to be able to grow followers on your page as well. That's cool, right? That's the power of being able to use Keynote on an iPhone. By the way, the reason I picked Keynote and iPhone only is because 85% of realtors have iPhones already. So I knew it was a real easy pick to be able to go with and start from. Okay, so my first tip for you guys is to turn on high quality uploads, okay? 
high quality uploads isn't turned on by default on your Instagram at all. You have to click the, the three lines in the upper right, click account, click data usage, and then um, high quality uploads and you just turn it on, you toggle it on. Whenever you delete Instagram and reinstall it, because sometimes you go on a social media, you know, dopamine break and come back to it, you're going to have to return that back on. So make sure you come and check that. That's number one is having high quality uploads. Okay. Next is get a good phone. It's a write-off. All this stuff I'm talking about today is a complete write-off. You can either give it to the government or you can give it and build it back into yourself and invest into yourself. I use an iPhone 13 Pro Max and I love it. All right, first off, profile picture. The tools that you're gonna use for that, and you, you can write these down or not, you can just listen or you can take notes, but they will be in my um, basically Instagram for dummies PDF that I spoke about. You'll be able to download that next week and it'll have everything in it. So um, if you're not taking notes, you'll be able to get it there from my profile. Um, four apps to use or four resources to use. One, the best website I've found on the planet for making profile pictures is pfpmaker.com, profilepicturemaker.com, pfpmaker.com. The second one is an app. It's on the App Store, the Apple App Store. It's called SQL. There are in-app purchases, though, to get some of the, the better features. Another one that's really, really dope is Pixomatic. Pixomatic is a really awesome app. And then um, it also has in-app purchases. And then there's my templates, my profile picture templates that are done in Keynote that give you um, really professional um, profile picture templates in there that you could change the color to any background color you want or your own brand for your team to give away as a freebie for your team as a recruiting device. And I'll talk more about recruiting and retention a little bit later on in the call. Um, my templates, I have over 70 profile picture templates, all different designs with a gold ring or a silver ring or uh, all sorts of different colors and designs and different. So you can be, make your own individual thing. And the nice part about it is, is once you go in there and make it, my tutorials are on my page, by the way, on Instagram, nickhurley.realtor. But once you make it, you have that saved on your phone at all times. And you go into a new app and you've got to set it up or you've deleted an app. And if you have to re-put in a profile picture, they're always in one spot in your files. And it just makes that process easier and less of a headache when you have to go to switch companies, when you have to go to create marketing, any of it, it's all in one spot. That's just one of the bonuses. All right, next is your name on Instagram. It's searchable, okay? So have it be your name, your city, and then realtor. The algorithm brings people to you based upon what it sees in that bar right there, okay? So as a realtor, you want it to say your location. If you're something else, like a social media manager or a content creator, put that in there. Those key words are what the algorithm uses to help people find you. Next is going to be your category. Um, that also helps the algorithm to find you. I use real estate agent. If you're a brokerage, you use real estate brokerage or whatever. It's the one in the gray letters below your name. Then right below that is your bio. And you got to make sure that your bio um, catches someone's eye. You've got three seconds to catch somebody's attention and seven seconds to keep it. That's what psychology says, right? And that's the same for us too. If you didn't like something, you stay there and look at it. If it's aesthetically pleasing or better than yours, then you're going to click that follow button. And that's what I'm here to help you create is something that's better looking than everybody else's and gives content that's better, educational, inspirational, entertaining. And then if you can add that little vulnerability piece that that, you know, a blooper in there of yourself, not too much of yourself, because that can get too much and shove people away. But every once in a while, you want to make a mistake and, and laugh about it together with your community, right? So your bio, you want to use the AIDA marketing format. This was invented in 1893. What it stands for is attention, interest, desire, and then a call to action. So you've got four or five lines in there that you can use to do that. The first one's got to call attention to you. Mine says, my content can help you create content. That's how I grab attention, right? Then I build interest with a little bit more. And you could use your background. You could use 
where you live and what you like to do, maybe a hobby even as a realtor in your community, and just something about you that builds interest. Then you got to have something in there that builds desire, desire to lead to the call to action, which is going to be your website that's just below. And that's usually a link tree to multiple websites so that you don't just have just your brokerage website or your name at exp or whatever you have other options to be able to hand out freebies to hand out a pdf a home buyer's guide or a listing guide again those are things that i'm building out for you that i'll have templates for that you'll be able to use that you're going to love okay that's on your website use a link tree or whatever you know link to other links that you can use Highlights. I haven't found a good app for highlight icon covers. There's a couple on the app store, but nothing crazy good. My highlight cover templates are amazing. They come in um, five packs of the same color. You change the background to your brand. All five of them turn your color. Okay. There's gold, there's silver, there's ro rose gold in there. I've got packs for realtors, lenders, photographers with my suggested things that you write underneath each of them that don't go over the 12 to 13 character limit and make you look bad, okay? I have a post that's the ultimate highlight cover guide that says, hey, if you're a realtor, have an about me, okay? Have five-star reviews, have a why my city or why you could switch that to either why my city or why use me over the competition. That's another good one to have in that highlight. And any of these can be anything that you pick, but these are the ones that I found have been the most effective for that five slot. You don't want to have a billion of them because you're not a celeb, right? Celebs, people look at all those. But if you have that three to seven seconds and people are just looking at you real quick, you got to keep those things tight and nice and neat, right? The other two I would put in there are your new listings and your sold listings. Keep them up out of your posts. Let your posts be about teaching your clients how to be A-plus clients and teaching other realtors to be A-plus realtors so you can get them as followers. When you go on that next listing appointment and you have to compare yourself to another realtor's follower account, you're going to want more realtors in your follower account than the other realtor. Does that make sense? So you can win that listing appointment with your social and what you're doing. That's why this is super important. When I start scorecarding your city, which I'm a scorecard master, you're going to want this stuff. Okay. When I start showing you who the top 10 is in your city and why and what they're doing, you're going to want to be on top of every single thing I'm saying in this call right now. And you want to do it all. You don't just want to take two pieces and put it together and then it fails on you and you give up, right? You want to do every single piece to make it all look good. Having that page that's aesthetically more pleasing than everybody else gets you that follow button click, okay? Then you want your posts. I've got templates. I have your first eight posts done for you. I have a tutorial that on my steal my carousels posts on slides five and six that teach you how to use Keynote and how to put it together. I take um, Russ's picture out of a different, I copy and paste Russ's picture in there over a, one of my local realtors. And I show you how to move it in the second slide so that there is a continuous seamless, when you slide from slide number one to slide number two, it's your portrait picture on both. And there's a seamless, that's a cool skill that I teach you that you can do all from mobile that you're wondering, hey, how do people do that? When they move the slide over, it's the same picture on both slides. How do they connect those? Well, I teach you how to do that by telling you how to calculate the pixels. You may have to watch it a couple of times to learn that trick and let it sink in, but that's okay. That's completely fine. And then I teach you how to change all of the slides backgrounds all in one swoop by selecting all of them a certain way, and then you can change them all to your brand color. And I've cut out the slides in a way so that all you have to do is change the background color and everything else looks good with blacks and whites. That's dope. So literally you could take one of my full carousels that took me eight hours to create, and in about three to five minutes, you can put in your profile picture, change where it says nickhurley.realtor to, you know, your name dot realtor or whatever your Instagram name is on every single slide, change all the background colors and it's your post. That's dope. That is sick. That's keeping current matters upgraded. Okay. And that's what I provide. I'm going to keep putting out new posts like that. 
I'm going to keep putting out new profile pictures, templates, new highlight cover templates. And then let me, um, let me get into real quick the, the real cool thing that I have for realtors that no one else is doing in the world right now. I have four template packs that are for build a brokerage. Everybody knows that when you switch brokerages, it's a headache to have to create your new signs, to have to create new business cards, to have to put all your stuff together, right? In my build a brokerage series, I have the eight carousels that you would use. And these are great for your team. Once you get them set up with your team colors, you just airdrop them to everybody on your team and they've got these posts too. That's dope. So then the other post or the other template pack that I have for you is a buyer's consultation sheet that's amazing. You can export it to PDF. You can put links in there back to your Instagram posts that you've already created with the carousels so that when um, new buyers from a Zillow lead open that up and it says, click here to check out this post on Nail the Offer or click here to check out Mortgage Musts and these cool, real, real cool posts, it brings them back into Instagram and the algorithm will see that and start to work in your favor. No one is doing that that I've seen anywhere in the world, anywhere on the planet. This is dope, Okay. The other template packs I'm going to give you are real estate signs and then also business cards, a few different designs for business cards, but you really want to put your own design in there um, that is your team, right? If you're building a team or a brokerage, how cool of a retention tool it would be to, to airdrop them or text message them if they're iPhone to iPhone, um, these four template packs, and they're already set up with all your team stuff with EXP, your colors, all the designs that you use for your signs, your business cards, your buyer's um, consultation sheet, and then all of your posts. How cool would it be for a new realtor to get that right away, their first day starting, and then you tell them, hey, Go take a profile picture at home with your phone. Remove the background with a website called removal.ai. It's just as good as Adobe Creative Cloud. And I pay money for that. Now I don't even use it because removal.ai, you can access it right from your phone. It says upload the picture. Three seconds later, it removes the background completely, even hair for the ladies. It's perfect. It's money and it's free. You're going to tell that new agent, Look, go in there, take your background out, pop yourself into all these posts, pop yourself into this buyer's consultation sheet, pop yourself into a new business card that's already set up for you with all the information for our brokerage. You just have to add your phone number, email address, Instagram account name, and your DRE number, and you're good to go. Do it the same with the signs. And they're all set up within an hour. And they're started posting. Are you kidding me? That's the kind of retention tool that you need to be able to build out your team and pull people over on a mass level. If you're into recruiting, that's something that you need to make note of from this call, if not anything else that I provide, okay? Don't delete your posts. Keep a consistent theme. And the reason why I say don't, don't delete your posts is the algorithm keeps track of all your likes as a total and all your views as a total and all your comments as a total and compares that to others when it chooses which post it's going to use, yours or theirs. And if you've deleted posts that are on there that have a lot of that statistical data from the past, you may be hurting yourself. So don't delete a post unless it's something that um, is hurting you in a different way and you'll be able to you know, figure that out. Um, like I said before, make A plus clients and realtors by making posts, creating posts that are educational, inspirational, and entertaining. And that vulnerability piece, vulnerability bloopers show the real you and endear yourself to your followers. And then I got to tell you about how the algorithm works. You need to like other people's posts. The algorithm goes like this. You make a post, you put it out there. It goes out to 10 people in your followers. Depending upon how those, uh, those followers like it or not like it, it'll either uh, push it to the side or push it out to 10 more followers so it can go out further or out to other people. And if it goes after a third round, that's when you can start seeing it go viral. That's when you can start going out in the suggested and the explore page and other good things that happen from there. Okay. So we're going to talk about some of the things that are going to help us get to that spot with our posts, which is super important. Um, when you're uh, posting, make sure you leave a half an hour after you post to comment back when people comment 
or throughout the day, make sure you comment right away because that's going to be one of the things the algorithm uses while you're in that time sensitive zone of that freshly listed post or reel or whatever you have. So make sure you comment back. If you can make a comment that gets this conversation started, but don't get too needy there and don't make it look like you're trying to do that, if, if, if that makes sense. Um, this will put the algorithm in your favor. Remember, all the algorithm cares about is that you keep others on the platform, okay? That's why linking back to it in outside files is so key and so new that nobody else is using that you're going to use. Okay, plus you get, you get back what you give in this life. So you're going to get karma. If you're leaving killer comments that are getting pinned by other people and other people come and see that, they're going to come to your page and you're going to get that karma back as well and followers and likes. And if you're leaving stuff that's better than everybody else on other people's posts, then that's going to only add to what you've the stickiness that you've built on your profile already. Okay. Um, how to create engaging followers. Thank them for being a follower whenever you can. Check all your inboxes for new uh, messages regularly. Pin the best comments. They get a notification and you may get another replay or a profile visit because you pinned that comment. Switch up the pinned comments later to bring some more action into it. You can only pin three comments, but when you pin a comment, it, they get a notification and they're going to click on your story. They're going to click on your profile. You're going to get more action from that. Thank others for sharing your post and reshare <coughs> some of them. At the very minimum, thank them back in messages for sharing your post. Share quality content yourself that you yourself would actually want to engage with. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? Create something that, imagine if you were looking at this fresh as someone who didn't know you, would I like that post? And think about that when you're creating it. Is this something I would actually want to reshare? Up, oh, time's up. Hey Siri, stop. Um, do you want me to cut it off there? Or do you want me to keep going? What, what's the plan, guys? Hey, hey, Nick, I got a couple of private messages on, like, listen, we're real estate agents. Everybody's super busy, right? I love the fact that you put in eight hours work and we only have to put in two. You said uh, in your um, in the call today that, hey, I've got your first eight, 10, whatever, ready to go for you. Can you maybe even in the chat box or wherever, how, how do they find you? Go ahead and go to the chat box so they can they can find you. And then number two, for that one piece where you have like their first eight posts ready to go, can you help them do that uh, and then wrap up? Sure. Awesome. Yeah, you, you, absolutely. Listen, everyone, I know there was a lot there. <laughs> and you can tell Nick is passionate. He's very good at what he does. Uh, I highly recommend, you know, that it, and he's giving, by the way. Um, I know that, Love you know, you, Nick. <laughs> oh, hey, Alma. <laughs> Uh, he, he's super giving here. Like what he has, it would cost you thousands of dollars with From other coach. Instagram people. Right. And he does it, you know, for a dollar, if you donate for his, uh, his yeah. uh, you know, folks in the uh, uh, juvenile hall. So in any event, how do we get our first seven, eight posts up just by copying what you do? How do they find you? And then, you know, how do they kick off the right way? If you could just recap really quickly, that'd be great. Okay. So go to Instagram, follow me at nickhurley.realtor, click on templates. And when you click on the templates highlight cover, it's gonna um, give you options for those posts about, I don't know, a few slides in. It'll let you go to download where those posts are at, you know, donate and download. And then also on that slide, it shows you kind of a um, an example account that I have set up on one of my local agents here that's just started two weeks ago and he's already got 33 followers. Woohoo! And we're going to build that thing out as I keep getting new um, post designs out. I'll pop them on there so that you can see what they look like. And you can go on there and you can see what the posts look like and see if you want them or not. I will have more girly designs with pastels and whites and, you know, girls like black, white and gold, things like that in the future. But this is just brand new and I wanted to get it up and out there. And if you're creative, you can go on there and change it all yourself to whatever you want. But to be able to switch them over to your information, Go to the, my post. It's called um, Steal My Carousels or something. I'll type it out in the chat. Steal My Carousel Posts. Or something to that effect. And um, that one, um, Russell is 
is embedded all in that one. And on slides five and six, it teaches you how to convert those over to your information. And if it's too fast for you, put something in the comments for me to slow it down and make a new tutorial. I'm new at this, right? This is all brand new stuff that no one knows anything about. And um, kind of a good recap would be the potential of this is huge. I have in my back pocket tons of animation posts with um, progress bar animations that no one has and uses custom stuff. If you look in a lot of my posts, the progress bar goes up and along the iPhone all the way up. Nobody has anything like that, right? So I'll be releasing those on nickhurley.animations and nickhurley.realtor is where the template packs will always be from all my channels. So you'll be able to have your own progress bars. And the reason you want a progress bar is because when someone's watching your 15 second reel, they may be seven seconds in and they're deciding, should I stay or should I go, right? But if they see that hey, the progress bar is over the halfway mark and I mark that spot, they'll say, oh, I'm over halfway, I'll finish this. And you get another replay out of it that tricks the algorithm into um, pushing your post out further because more people watch your post longer and it keeps track of how many seconds people are watching. Does that make sense? So my progress bar animations are gonna be super dope. One thing I gotta tell you before I go, I have to tell you this, add captions, okay? 80% of people watch your posts, your videos with the sound off. Verizon Wireless did their own separate study and it was 69% of people watched the posts with the sound off. Captions are easy and they're free, okay? You can use the built-in captions right from creating a reel and then you can save it and then post it in your story with captions, okay? Did you catch that? You're creating a reel with a video you've already created, doesn't have captions yet. You could throw it in there up to 90 seconds, right? 90 seconds now, add the captions, save it, and then post it somewhere else as a story, post it as a post. That's how you can add your captions. For items that are longer than 90 seconds, um, videos like that that you wanna put on YouTube and you wanna add captions, um, you can add captions in a free website called Kapwing, K-A-P-W-I-N-G. That's a hidden secret I use to add captions on longer videos after the fact with some designs that nobody really uses and you can customize it a lot better. Two apps that you can use on the iPhone for captions are Clips, okay? It's Apple makes it. They bought that company out. It adds captions for you automatically. And you can pick which ones they are with a background. There's a bunch of different options in there. And there's another really cool new app called Captions itself that you can download that highlights the words as it goes. You see videos with that on it. That's where you can get that app too. By the way, all this stuff, all these apps will be clickable links in the guide that I'm going to be posting next week. Okay. I'm creating it because I'm meeting in front of my board of realtors in front of 250, 300 agents next Wednesday. And I want to have it ready by then, but that's going to be a free download that you guys can have my PDF. And then and it'll be also one of my templates that you can make it your own and make it as a value proposition piece to um, grab new followers on your page. Man, I wish I could have had time to go over my 22 um, viral reels um, points, but I don't. So I'm going to leave you with two. Is that cool? Yeah, go for it. The two I'm going to leave you with are the two I told Russ. If you want 500,000 followers and pages like that, there's two things you can do. You can create covers for your reels that instead of showing too much information, they show a little bit too little, okay? Like this, your, like mine are gonna be Instamobile animation tip number one. And then you do tip number two, tip number three, tip number four, tip number five, all the way up to 43, right? Somebody who has watched one of your posts, they saved it, they couldn't remember which one it was. Now they have to go back through every single one of your videos to freaking find that one video. And it tells the algorithm that they're watching your videos over and over again, making the algorithm think that your, pay, your stuff is freaking awesome and it pushes it out to more people. That's one of the tricks the big ballers on Instagram use. Another trick that they use is this. Create a reel. By the way, your reels should only be for entertaining three to seven seconds. That's it. For educational or walkthroughs, make sure you use a gimbal. I use the Osmo Mobile 4 or 5. I've had the 3 and the 2. They're all great. Use a gimbal. 
but make sure if it's a, a video like that, 18 seconds tops, okay? And the viral trick that you want to use on those is have six pieces of information on a flashcard that pops up near the end of the reel, but not the final picture because it freezes and you don't want them to be able to see it freeze. And the trick is you only show it for 1.5 to 2 seconds, even though it's 3 to 4 seconds worth of information. Did you catch that? Then they can only read four out of the six lines on it in the amount of time you've shown it to them. And they have to watch the reel completely one time again, a full new replay for you and the algorithm to be able to catch those last two lines of information. That will make your stuff go viral as well. And make sure you use trending audio with the arrow at the bottom left. Everybody kind of knows what that is, but that'll also be in my guide, my Instagram for dummies. And you'll be able to, you know, describe and be able to find trending audio as well. That will automatically get you 500 to a thousand views on your stuff. As long as it doesn't look too much like an ad. Okay. Let's leave it at that. I've got more, but a lot of it will be in the guide and any future times you invite me back to come talk. I love it. Hey, Nick, what I would love to do, too, after your uh, your next Wednesday appointment is uh, have a tutorial class where you teach us how to do some of this stuff in real time. That would be amazing. And in the words of Tom Daves, I think everybody has the inspiration, right? Now it's time to go out and put in the perspiration. To make, oh, shoot. There's Don. Go, go ahead, Tom. What do you got? Tom? Oh, hey. Yeah. No, you said it well. Everyone, you all got your inspiration time to put in a perspiration. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Nick. Let's go. See y'all later. Thanks. Love you guys. If you ever want to go 